Hey, like my new intro for not music translation humor content? Yeah! What's going on everybody? My name is Melinda Kathleen Reese and today is my birthday! Woo! Editing, help me! Yeah! And I have been getting so many requests from you guys to translate recipes. So take recipes, translate them into a whole bunch of different languages using an online translation software, and then translating it back into English and trying to make it. So I figured today, why don't I let Google Translate make my birthday cake? I have here with me a recipe from atapinch.com and they claim to have the best chocolate cake recipe ever. We'll see about that. Let's go. Directions. Right. Preheat oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. The first 350 foreskins. Not a chance in hell that I'm gonna illustrate that. Prepare two nine inch cake pans by spraying with baking spray or buttering and lightly flouring. Color or butter or glue in the first line. Add flour, sugar, cocoa, baking powder, baking soda, salt, and espresso powder into a large bowl or the bowl of a stand mixer. Combine wheat, zucchini, blood, milk, milk, parsley, and snap in a long chicken or a particular organ. Whisk through to combine or, using a paddle attachment, stir through flour mixture until combined well. Avoid mixing, or simply use the pill to mix it well. Add milk, vegetable oil, eggs, and vanilla to flour mixture and mix together on a medium speed until well combined. Pomegranate, vegetables, eggs, and volatile dough will grow faster and faster. Reduce speed and carefully add boiling water to the cake batter until well combined. Get closer and get ready to bring warm water until it misses the seasons too. The cake batter will be very thin after adding boiling water. This is correct and results in the most delicious and moist chocolate cake I've ever tasted. The game is good and the water is very rich. This is what I have tried to do with a happy, happy, scare, scare. Distribute cake batter evenly between the two prepared cake pans. Cooked kiwi meat together with these two cookbooks. Bake for 30 to 35 minutes until a toothpick or cake tester inserted in the center of the chocolate cake comes out clean. Cook in the center of the chocolate cake for 30 to 35 minutes until you add a toothbrush or a card tester. Remove from the oven and allow to cool for about 10 minutes. Remove the bark and the scurry for 10 minutes. Remove from the pan and cool completely. Swallow the pan completely completely and swiftly. Frost the cake with chocolate buttercream frosting. Frost frost and seafood. I mean, hey, we made a salad. I mean, if this was edible, like this would be the healthiest cake you've ever had. But um, I don't know, the glue kind of kills it. Let's eat some real cake instead. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. What should we fail to translate next? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you to my awesome patrons who make my videos possible. If you want to join the fam, you can click the link that is right over there. And also, I still have my Gradually Watermelon t-shirts out. You can also get that in the corner thing, the little eye, and also in the links down below. And I will see you guys next week with more translator fails. Bye! Mwah.